Okay, um, so I just took compression tests of all four cylinders and they were uh, 120 to 130 pounds. I took pictures of each one as I did it. Um, I couldn't just uh, hold, I just couldn't hold on to everything at once and video and, uh, and not let the engine fall off the, the little dolly that it's on here. Um, I, so I took the plugs out, I ran compression in all four cylinders and like I said it was 120 to 130 pounds in each one so that's pretty awesome. Um, I did just take the the uh, glass bowl off from the fuel pump. Um, pretty much old nasty fuel, but it's still liquid. Um, so it hasn't been sitting for too awful long. And then uh, I did put some Marvel Mist Rail down in the cylinders and, and, and put the battery back on the starter and it pumped out a little plop of oil here from the, from the line that goes up to the uh, oil pressure. See if I can focus on that. That goes up to the oil pressure gauge. So, um, oil pump works. As you can see, it's puking out onto the floor. And uh, I'll try and see if I can't do this without melting the cables here again and let you hear what it sounds like. So, that's just running off the battery in my Sprite here. It's uh, so. That little engine actually has a battery that goes to it, um, and that's that's what's turning the uh, the engine over here. So I think um, yeah, that's in pretty good shape. It, you know, like I said, it's very complete. The uh, you know the alternator, the the generators on there, um, the starters there, the headers, the carbs, of course, um, all the pieces that would give you a headache to find, like this water neck piece. Um, it doesn't look like the mounts had deteriorated enough in the car so that the uh, the fan uh, extension was rubbing on the um, the steering rack, which mine did. I had a 4A, 67 4A, uh, and it has the tack drive off from the speedometer of the distributor. It even has the water line that runs out uh, around behind the engine and out to the heater. It has the um, the engine pickup hook on it there, and of course the um, that valve for the heater, which is uh, pretty important to have. Um, the fuel pump is on there. The oil filter, of course, is on there. And then the, uh, the clutch slave cylinder, and it's um, still connected to the clutch. Oh, it's still puking out oil from the, <laughs> from the piece there. Um, uh, you know, the whole transmission is complete with the gear shift and, and all that. I wanted to also point out the fact that you know, you see the gasket between the head and the block, and it's still copper color. So I don't think this engine had been run much. Um, I do believe that it probably has been rebuilt. Uh, it looks like they um, maybe have had a, a gasket leak up here at some point in time. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it looks like there was a gasket leak there, and they RTV'd it. Uh, so I haven't pulled that off. But just knowing that there's a compression on all four cylinders, it's... Uh, right up there is a good good thing. I'm going to take a little bit more video of the radiator now.